Hey, Rob here, and this week I will be sharing my thoughts on an interesting film called Waiting for Superman. No, 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 it's not that a long-awaited sequel to Superman Returns. It's actually a documentary by Davis Guggenheim on why he believes the U.S. public school systems are failing and why teens drop out of school. Now, in addition to that, Guggenheim follows some families and try to, who try, are trying to find a better um, education for their children and in some cases trying to find uh, ways to pay for it. Now, a positive part of the movie is that it shows that people still care about an education. The families, including the children in this movie, um, they believe that college is an important part of getting a career started, and the parents of or the guardians want the children to have a better life than they did. The film also makes some interesting comparisons to another documentary Guggenheim worked on called The First Year, where it shows teachers um, who cared about their students, and Guggenheim argues with this new documentary almost uh, 10 years later that it's not quite the same now. He suggests that the school system is out of date because it no, lo it no longer prepares students for um, the high paying jobs that, that are there now and no one is allowed to change the school system. He also suggests that charter schools do a better job teaching. The film follow also follows Michelle Rees um, who was the chancellor of the District of Columbia Public Schools system and tried to reform the school system there. The film also shows the families trying to get into a lottery for charter schools. Um, I could feel the family's frustrations as the number of spaces go down as the names or the numbers are being called. And I wondered during this part of the movie if the kids who attended these lotteries, I wondered how they felt if they, I wonder if they thought they were not good enough to get in, especially when they see other kids who did get in, you know, wearing stickers on that are like, I won the lottery. I wonder how those kids felt. I wonder if that brought them down or what. But even though I felt the film uh, turned into a commercial for charter schools, I think Waiting for Superman will make a good discussion for people. Um, like a lot of documentaries on issues, people will may not agree with what the film presents, especially with uh, the teachers' unions, which Guggenheim partially blames uh, here. But I enjoyed watching it, and you and someone that you go with, I think, will have a very nice talk about what uh, the film uh, showed. It is in limited release, but it is making its way around the country in some select theaters. So if it comes by you, I say, see it in theaters. So thank you very much for watching, and of course, uh, you guys know what to do. Leave your comments about either this video or about Waiting for Superman if you have seen it. So thank you very much for watching, and take care now.